Hello, chapter heads. Are you tired of that greeting yet? Um, <laughs> we're super pumped that you are back for manual four. You are in the final stages here, and we are going to be talking about promoting your chapter, which is, of course, important to find members. It's going to be uh, a big reason of why your chapter is successful because chapter members give it life. And we want you to know that this is the, the step that most chapter heads struggle with the most. So even if it's tough, even if you're finding some friction in getting that promotion started, know that you are not alone. So many chapter heads have experienced the same thing and we are here to help you through that process. Um, because we've talked to you already about the importance of an info session where you host a session to share the opportunity with members of your school, whether that's at your chapter fair or maybe um, a big thing we're about to talk to about in a second is about social media but um, all of that to say you want to promote it out to as many people as possible so that way you can get um, as many people to actually join the chapter. The question we get asked quite a bit is, is how many members should we aim for and really there's no answer here that is like you must have this many people. Um, but we encourage you to have about 10 or more chapter uh, members that you sign up. And we've had chapters that have had 100 members, and then we've had chapters that have had as little as 10 members. And so we really think um, uh, kind of having at least 10 gives your chapter some momentum, some life, some good discussions during the, the actual sessions themselves. Um, but we're not gonna tell you that if you have a low number that you should just give up and walk away and there's no point, because that's not true. We want as much impact as possible. So we want you to, to um, you know, try to promote to as many people as possible, but there really is no right number, no number we're looking for you to have. But we have seen it be successful with at least 10 members, but you know, you could have 100, you could have 150 if there are. <laughs> so um, yeah, try to get as many members as possible at the start and um, it'll help breathe some life into that chapter and create for lots of great discussions and, and motivation. Depali. Yeah, let's start talk about getting started. So remember, before you can start promotion, you have to know what you're promoting. So remember to finalize the date and time of your meetings, which you should have done um, by looking at manual two, which is all about setting up your chapter. Create a sign up form. We have a template available for that, and that will basically just be a form where you can sign up for your course. Um, just remember, if you see that form and you see a high number, just remember that some people might drop off. So it's a good way to kind of gauge the interest of this club at your school. Um, and if you want, you can just call it like a general interest form to see how many people are interested and then see what kind of audience you can get from that. And then you can start promoting, which we will get into. Okay, so here we have the four main methods of promotion. And in our opinion, this is how they're ordered in the kind of most important to least important. So we really, really, really recommend social media and your info session. Um, those are very, very useful and effective sources and methods of promotion. Um, but then we also have some resources for posters, announcement, and other small things that you can use as well. So to get started with social media, um, let's just talk about social media. So we really, really strongly suggest you set up a chapter specific Instagram and we have documents all about that in your resources folder. Actually, one of the resources that you got with this set of training called setting up your chapter. Um, and the reason why we suggest you get an Instagram is it can help with so many things. It can help with promotion generally as well, but it can also help with post updates for your chapter, um, staying connected to your members and sharing pr and promoting passion projects. So it's really great for engagement, whether you are a chapter who is running virtually online or if you're running in person, we strongly, strongly, strongly suggest creating a social media account. And we have templates for how you should do that as well. As you can see below, you can check out these pages for inspiration, you have at Believe Leadership, VMSS, at Believe Leadership, SWC, and so, so many more. And then, of course, at Believe Leadership, if you want to. <laughs> but um, as you can also see, please follow the format of the Believe Leadership, and it says this on the social media guide. So if we flip over to the social media guide um, that I just talked about, um, please make sure to read that. Um, it has so much information on setting up your account. We really want to make sure that all branding and chapter accounts are consistent. So feel free to individualize your posts and all that stuff. But for setting up your account and things like the username, um, the profile picture and the little bio, we have some templates and some strongly suggested material for you to use. Um, so make sure to give that a read. The next thing we, oh yes. 
I was muted. Um, can I just say two things really quick? Um, one of the things I'll say is that the, um, oh my gosh, I already forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> well, just kidding, guys. Maybe I'll be back here in a moment. <laughs> For sure. Okay, now we're on to social media stylistic guidelines. So if you've seen App Believe Leadership page or chapter pages, which are like App Believe Leadership something, um, which will be their, their school name or their chapter name abbreviation, um, you'll see that we usually stick to a color scheme, which we also strongly recommend. So usually what we've seen in the past is that App Believe Leadership, the admin, um, so, you know, our account will kind of have a red color scheme because the colors of the blue initiative are like red and blue and you know little hints of orange and then chapter colors will be various shades of blue so when creating posts please please try to follow this social media stylistic guidelines table where we have suggested colors and as well as suggested fonts but the fonts are more up to you um so for backgrounds we have all these various shades of blue and for accents we have a little bit of red and a little bit of orange as well we strongly recommend this just so we can keep everyone's posts consistent um, but you can definitely still be individual when you create your own posts and things like that and here we can see some examples of social media pages as well which is great so as you can see what i'm talking about in the middle in the middle we have the apple League leadership page which you can see is red but then on the sides we have two examples that i showcased um, that are from past chapters or ongoing chapters and you can see they really have their own unique individual posts which is super super fun so have fun with your posts we do have templates available which we'll talk about a little later in this video um, but we really want to encourage you to be creative get to get members and and have fun with your social media posts I will say on this one because I remember what I was going to say now because this is actually a better time for it um, is a way that you um, can seek these other pages as Depali just mentioned is you just search in your uh, Instagram search button at Believe Leadership and then suddenly you'll start seeing all these schools that like Believe Leadership APHS, Believe Leadership SWC, Believe Leadership. So you'll suddenly see all of them and you'll see how they all have the exact same icon but with their specific school abbreviation underneath the believe leadership and then it includes their abbreviation so look to those pages honestly just go on the search function and find them and then you can follow them all because they'll follow you back and then you can start to begin to gain some of your social media following and you'll get to actually see some more of these styles that that Depali just mentioned thank you for, for letting sure. me come back to say that <laughs> Yeah, great point. Great point. For sure. Check them out. Highly recommended. They'll give you some great ideas as well. And um, I'll also in your post, I just one more thing. Remember to tag at Believe Leadership and Believe Initiative because as our number of chapter grows, we really want to see all your posts. But even if we're following you all, it can be hard to see all of them and like all of them and share all of them. So please make sure to tag your, um, us and hopefully every single post if possible. Um, it should only take a second when you post it just so we can, you know, see what you're up to. And okay. the style guidelines that Depali just mentioned will come with the resources when you finish your training. So look for all that then. <laughs> yeah, okay. So one more thing is how can you actually use social media effectively? So I know I'm really going on and here about social media, but just because it's so, so effective. And it's really effective if you use it effectively. Just remember as someone who is starting a chapter, starting a new organization, just because you create a social media account, unfortunately, doesn't mean that followers are automatically going to flock to your account. So there's a few tips and tricks that we have to help you use it effectively to promote and to get members because we all know getting members and starting something new can be hard, but not impossible. So one thing is to create engaging graphics and post them on your page. So this is kind of what we've mentioned. You can see the example post in a shared camera folder, which we'll talk about in a second, um, as well as on other people's pages. Um, and then make sure just to have a post that tells people what the BLC is all about. And we have templates for what you can say if you don't know how to describe it as well. The second thing I would say is to follow, follow, follow. Following other people when you're just starting a social media account is really, really important because you as a, as a social media account head need followers so you can get an audience. You need an audience so that people can see your posts and people can be willing to join your club. So just keep in mind that not everyone who's either going to follow you or not everyone who's going to just like your posts are automatically going to be members, right? As you may have seen posts for other clubs in your school, you might like a bunch of posts from different clubs or for different school events, but that doesn't mean you're participating in all of them. So we recommend having a following to follower ratio of three to one. Of course, you can't 
control the followers part, but you can control how many people you follow. And so say if you want around 100 people to follow your account, because you know that maybe out of 100, 50 might be interested in your club, um, follow 300 people. And I know, once again, that might seem like a lot. You might be like, I don't even know 300 people. How am I supposed to do this? And this is where the next point comes in handy, which is called strategically mass following people who would be interested in your chapter. So when you're thinking of following people, don't just think of, you know, who would I follow? Who, who do I want to appear on my page? Random celebrities. I don't know. Think about who you want your audience to be. And a lot of the times you can find your audience in um, following other social media accounts that have similar themes. So for example, some things that we recommend are following people who follow your school Instagram account, if your school has an Instagram account, or following people who follow clubs at your school's Instagram accounts, um, because you know that they are in the same target audience. If you want to be even more efficient and more effective, you can even go to um, your school account's posts, see how many people liked it, and follow those people, because you know that those people who liked posts um, in your target audience are people who don't just follow all these accounts but are actually engaged with them and they'll be more likely to be engaged with your account and if that doesn't work out you can also just follow your friends and have your friends uh, share that as well um, and follow people that you know at your school as well and then the last thing is remember to get people to repost your post so once again you're just starting this chapter it can be a difficult process but getting people to repost your post definitely takes down an obstacle and helps you spread the word even more. So get your school account, if your school has an Instagram account to repost it, you can get your school's clubs to repost it, your friends, family, whoever, just spread the word, spread the word, spread the word. Even if you think, oh, like this person, you know, doesn't have that many followers or I'm not sure if they'd be interested in joining, just try to ask them to repost um, and you'll never know where that will end up. Amazing job, Dipali. That was so much great social media stuff. Um, and as Dipali mentioned, it is one of the most important tools you can use in starting your chapter. And so make sure once we send you the resources, you check out that social media guide on exactly how to launch your chapter in, uh, Instagram account. And then all the tips that Dipali just mentioned are amazing. All right. So um, the second kind of method of promotion that we encourage and, and is the second and um, second of two mandatory promotion methods is the info session. And we really, really encourage this one as well because it's such a great way. You never really want to get yourself into something and you don't know what you're getting yourself into, right? You're like, uh, what? What are we doing? So an info session is such a great way that after you've put in the work on your social media channel, you've followed people, you've asked people to share your post of what the chapter is, you can invite them. You can even have a call to action in that post that you made of saying, join our info session next week at 4 p.m. Um, at this link. And then that way people can show up and say, okay, I don't know, I saw this post. It seems kind of interesting, but I didn't read the long caption. So I'm hoping that they'll just tell me what it's about. And they might come to the info session and then you'll have an opportunity to be in front of them and actually tell them what's happening. You can run your info session in person or you can run it virtually. We saw a ton of chapters be really successful in 2020 doing the whole info session virtually. It actually allowed more people to just quickly dial in even if they were like on their way to their after school job, just quickly jump in on their phone and hear about it. So um, that info, info session is so, so important to get those chapter members to be like, okay, I know what I'm signing up for. Yes, please. Because we wanna make this as easy as possible for you, Every session, <laughs> including the info session, we always have the slides built for you. We always have the what to say and like the speaking points for it all. And so there's an info session slideshow available to you um, for you to use and the speaking points you can have to showcase what it is and what it's about. And we even include, as you would have heard in the, um, I think it was manual two, we talk about what's in all of your session folders. There's always a five minute quick training video of like, Here's what you're going to talk about. Here's the point of the thing. This is how you can make it be super awesome. And so there'll be a five minute video on here's how to run your info session that you can watch really quick, digest that, and then head out to the races and host your info session. So that way you get everyone excited about getting on board and just be yourself, like be energetic, be exciting. And maybe energetic is not you and that's totally fine too, <laughs> but just be yourself and, and invite people to be involved because honestly, one of the biggest things I think I've learned is that people just want to belong. They just want to feel a part of something. And um, if you can make them feel comfortable and welcomed, 
that's like a massive thing to help them say yes and want to be involved. The third element of promotion is posters and Katie is going to tell us about that. Perfect. Okay, so posters are slightly more self-explanatory than the other two methods, um, but it's still important to go over them and to see how you can optimize and maximize the reach that your posters get for you. Okay, so a couple things when creating your posters, things that you might want to include, things like the date, the time, the location, and the virtual platform that you will be using for your chapter and your meetings. Um, having all that information is really important for the logistics sort of thing. Um, you can also have a registration link for or your virtual platform code. For example, if you are on Google Classroom, you might want to put in your Google Classroom join link. Um, so you can see in the bottom right corner of that little blue poster example there, you can see the little uh, classroom icon. You would put your classroom code next to it. Um, so something like that can help your members to have access to the resources and to uh, right away just kind of join that Google Classroom and see if they're interested in this or not. Um, and again, you can do this for any sort of virtual platform that you have. Uh, most of them have invite links, so you could be able to put that in to your poster there. Um, okay, so uh, if you have a registration link as in like a Google form or some sort of other survey link, you can use that and put it into a bit.ly format so that it's easier to remember and easier to type for someone um, who's just kind of like looking at your poster and is typing it into their phone. You could also use QR codes. All of those are available techniques as well. And like Sarah mentioned, for the, in, uh, for the info session, you might want to have a call to action in your poster as well. So something like uh, follow us here on Instagram for more updates or join our Google Classroom or our next meeting is at this time, whatever it is. So having those call to actions, listing your info session time even um, are great ideas to have in your poster here. Um, also, you want to include what the BLC is. So that would be like any sort of buzzwords you have that might be leadership. It might mean volunteer hours, certificate of completion, uh, leadership skills, passion project, impact, creating change, things like those. Having buzzwords is very important to describe the BLC and to really attract the people that you want to attract, right? So someone who is interested in all those things, someone who is interested in creating change. Um, so describing what the BLC is, having your logistics all down there, all of that will be very important. And then when you're hanging up your posters, make sure you put them in areas people will be likely to stop and to look at them. That might be bathrooms, that might be around water fountains, or in waiting areas such as an office. For sure, and the last method you could use is announcements. And once again, posters announcements are kind of more self-explanatory. They're also optional because they're smaller and they really depend on your school culture. If, you know, people really listen to announcements and things like that. Um, but they're a great way to spread out the word as well. So if your school has an announcement system where, you know, every day they announce announcements, um, you can take advantage of that because it's a great way to spread the word really fast. So one thing to do is just remember that you wanna have consistent daily announcements around one to two weeks before the info session or session one. Yes, it may seem repetitive, but repetition gets things in people's heads. When people hear about the Believe Leadership course, you know, five days a week, every morning when they come rushing into school, they're probably gonna remember it a little bit. So having consistent announcement can be useful as well. And you could also, if you don't wanna have announcements over like the speaker system in your school, you could also even just ask teachers to visit classes or post in virtual communication platform streams. So if you are an in-person school or in-person chapter, you can go into classrooms and be like, hey, my name is Dipali and I want to talk about the Believe Leadership course for like two minutes and most of, of the time teachers will be okay with that. You can even do that with clubs as well. So for example, if there are other leadershipy or entrepreneurshipy or related clubs in your schools that might once again, target your target audience, then you can speak to those kind of people because you are targeting the people who you want in the club as well. And then as well, you can also um, encourage those people as well to um, repost this opportunity. You can send them a short blurb that you want them to repost and things like that. As well, if you are sending them, you know, short blurb or whatever, or if you're just creating announcements, things to include are things similar to your posters. So basically the benefits of joining VLC, you want to hook people in um, and the registration and info session. So always give people um, benefits and explain what the VLC is, but then also have a call to action. So your target audience is like, okay, that's what I do to join the club. So they don't just um, sit around waiting for some new information. And then once again, like many, many things in this whole manual of all the promotion, we have templates. So we have a template for starting your club, um, the sample announcement template. The templates are usually things that you don't have to use. They're not required or anything. They're just there to support you. So if you don't know how to explain the club, if you don't know how to make an announcement, just refer to that and that will be Great. And then I think Katie's going to be talking about resources soon. Um, but what I do want to say is just remember with um, these resources that Katie will mention, to um, we have them to support you, but still feel free to be creative on your own as well. 
for sure. Yeah. So to Polly mentioned, you know, a lot of templates throughout this entire thing. And this is literally a folder of templates for you to use. So uh, there is an incredible uh, resource that we have. So the shared Canva folder for the BLC chapter heads has pretty much all the chapter head uh, Instagram posts that you can think of. And you can use these as inspiration, as templates, or just resources to kind of get you thinking about what sort of social media posts you might want to post. Because God knows that Instagram and social media is difficult. I am absolutely horrible at social media. So hopefully this will help you out and give you some inspiration there as well. Some steps to kind of get started in this folder. One, create a, uh, a Canva account if you don't have one already, and then join the folder via the invite link. This invite link should be in the chapter head master list, uh, master checklist, sorry. And it's also linked in manual four, so the text manual. Um, so you should be able to find the invite link through there. You can use the posts in the folder as templates or as inspiration. So you can either uh, make a copy of them and then move them to your own folders and customize accordingly to your chapter, or you can just use them as inspiration for what kind of like ideas you might want to post. For example, the first post of your Instagram might be um, all about the BLC and talking about yourself as a chapter head, introducing yourself, um, that sort of thing. You might have a post with a leadership quote um, and use that as promotion for the uh, for the sign up list and say, um, here's a leadership quote and also like remind people to um, sign up on your list. So it's something like that. Um, so of course, all the ideas in this uh, template folder can help you to kind of get started on that. Um, you can also add your own graphics here to share the wealth and to share templates and resources with the other chapter heads. Um, that's definitely welcome as well. And like Dipoli has mentioned, we highly encourage you to make your own post too. Please don't just copy and paste and duplicate all of these templates. We'd love for you to have some unique things and to bring a little more flavor into your chapter head Instagram um, as well. Um, okay, there's also a profile picture in the shared Canva folder, which I think is something important to mention, just to keep the branding consistent and to make sure that um, all the chapters are easily recognizable. You can see down here, I think in the second row, the third one over there should be the BLC chapter uh, template for the profile picture. So once you use that, you can set up your Instagram account too. Um, we highly recommend finishing your training before you set up your social media, um, just so you have everything in place and you know what's going on before you can really set that up. Uh, so that might be something you want to keep in mind as well. Amazing. I love how you said, um, if you make some some uh, great graphics, share the love, put them in the shared folder. <laughs> Cause we have had some really amazing, um, creatively gifted individuals get in there and uh, create some stuff that I'm like, whoa, this looks amazing. <laughs> um, and as always, how we end these videos is with the contact information or you can reach any of us with the Believe Leadership um, at gmail.com or on either of the handles Believe Initiative or Believe Leadership. But of course, our main channel that you should look to to ask questions is in the Slack channel that you will get an invite to when you finish your training. And so there's questions for admin as a thread in that channel. So you can reach us there. and. I just want to say one more time that promotion is one of the hardest parts of being a chapter head and getting that traction. So please don't be discouraged if things are a bit tough. We had um, chapter heads who ran, what, I think two or three info sessions to gather their members together. And so it is possible. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of resilience and come on, it's the whole point of the program, right? That's just your way of building resilience. So we know it's tough, but we are here to support you and please don't be discouraged if it is, you know, a bit rough at the start, but um, it is possible and we've seen chapters be incredibly successful using the methods we just talked about here today. So great work, everyone. They only have one more manual left. Can, can you believe that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> one more left, guys. This is the second last and you're, you're almost there. When we see you next, you will be in your final stage and you'll be ready to hit the ground running. Shall we send them off? Yes. yes. Three, two, one. Ah! Great job, guys. <laughs> Great job, everyone. See you at the Good last job. manual.